And welcome back, everyone, to a new cycle in Oxygen and Not Included. We are getting our refrigerator set up. Uh, what priority is this one on? Last one on eight. This one should be the same as well. So an eight there, and then this one gets deconstructed at this point. No longer needed. No longer wanted. Goodbye. Uh, we're going to need some more mush bars, though. So let's get those going. My lord. Uh, we're going to need a lot more planters as well, I fancy. That's something that we haven't really been uh, building enough of. Uh, we will build a U across there, a there, and there. Because I would very much like this to start being built up a little bit further. See what we can do with that. There we go. And uh, we are slowly starting to uh, move mush bars down there. We're not making enough of them though, but you know. Let's continue working on that if we can, please. How's everything over here? Is everything running okay? Yeah, it's running perfectly well. That is fantastic. I am super, super happy with the way that that is working. Do need to make some more bedrooms, though. That is a given. Uh, Fiery is massively stressed out, so let's get Fiery down there. Go and chill out, Fiery. There we go. We can have some more... Um, Food plants down here, I suppose. That would be a reasonable thing to do. I'll lay the plans for it, though I'm not going to prioritize it particularly high. It's going to be a six, I think. Um, so we'll bring that across there. And much as we have at the top, we'll just have it just full of, of um, planters. We don't need the extra seeds. In fact, you know what? There's no particular reason why... I can make it out of clay. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, there's no particular reason... Why I don't have one there as well. So this will, again, just be all planters all the way across. We don't need another seed bin, so that's not uh, something that I'm going to worry about. And then we'll set this up on a six, like so. There we are. Have we got any super amazing duplicates? We have one that's actually pretty good at uh, gastrophobia and small bladder. Uh, I'd rather not. One who's very good at cooking, irritable bowel. Mm. You're not actually that bad, but you're not. You haven't got a skill that I care about, so I'm gonna say no to that. We still need to get bedrooms anyway, so uh, it, it might be a little while before I I expand further. Uh, we wouldn't mind grabbing this though, so go ahead and dig that up. Uh, at this stage, I could just let this water just just drain out. In fact, I could happily do that. There's, there's nothing particularly bad that's going to happen if this water spills down there. And that would give me room to make a new bedroom for Lolash as well, which would be quite nice. But the main thing right now is to get all of this place swept up and just get all of the stuff that I want out of there. Right, over here though, in terms of our oxygen generation, we need a very specific setup. Now, I'm going to put this down on a low, low priority so that I can build it. Uh, first. In fact, the door would not be up there. It would be all the way down here. So this ladder would need to go the rest of the way. And I'll just reconstruct that on a four as well. Build the ladder on a four. There we go. Okay, so in here, my plan. How wide is this? It's uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, it's got a bit of a gap there. It'll be irritating. But not the worst thing in the world. In fact, actually, that might work out. Uh, the way that I'm thinking of doing this is we will have... Uh, no, carry on. Don't pause. Uh, actually, we're low on food, so perhaps I should double-check on that, make sure that we are producing it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a gas pump at the top. Probably somewhere around here, perhaps. Then we're going to have a gas valve, or a gas filter, rather. Now, part of this will be pumped out as hydrogen. The other part will be um, just pure oxygen. Uh, I guess I could put it there. That isn't much of a problem. Yeah, because that goes straight across, and we'd want a gas pipe connecting them, like so. Uh, that would be set up to filter the hydrogen out, but everything else would just be oxygen. That would be pumped around the base at my leisure. Uh, the electrolyzer, however, we would build these in rows. So starting down here, we'd have one, two, three. Later on, we might have one, two, three as well. Who knows if we'll ever need that many? Might do. 
at some later stage of the game, but for now, unlikely. Nevertheless, I'll set up the groundwork. So this is what it's going to look like. Later on, perhaps, I might go further down and build up more and just have stacks of electrolyzers if we ever get to the point where we can actually make use of a base like this. That would be glorious, but incredibly unlikely. Incredibly unlikely. So now we know where everything's going to go. We can just get rid of those. We'll plan, you know, for the future, obviously. Now, this is not a room that typically people will go into. We'll build a ladder up there for the time being and take all of this out there uh so the electrolyzers will get water fresh water pumped in they'll produce hydrogen and oxygen a lot more oxygen than hydrogen the gas pump will gather the oxygen will move it around um to various parts of the base the hydrogen will be sent to a hydrogen generator now the hydrogen generator where would i like you to be placed i could even put you up there if i really want to since that's you know nice and high up actually um Let's have a look. We could pop it there. Oh, no, that's a coal generator. Uh, hydrogen generator. Could put it up there if we wanted to. Eventually, though, I mean, ideally, you don't want the the gas pipes to have to have to to go very far. So we could just put it down here if we really wanted to. And I see no particular reason not to. Um, so sure, we will set something up along those lines then. Along there, and likewise, take this out. So all of this onto a low priority of four, and then I can start prioritizing parts of it as we go. There we go. All right then, so let's see what we really need right now. I would not mind getting these set up, please and thank you. Let's uh, get all of these set up. We've got ridiculous amounts of these mealwood plants. So let's get all of this going. There we are. Perfect. No resources selected. That's fine. Food shortage. Yes, I know. We'll we'll be getting through this. Don't worry. That is on a seven. So hopefully they'll manage that reasonably fast. We've almost cleared out everything down here, which is good to see. Uh, okay, we're going to start moving all of that water down very soon. We could clean up everything else at the bottom of this. Um, I don't think it actually causes any kind of um, transfer of um contaminants like having these things in there i don't think it's going to affect it in a negative way could be massively wrong on that part though so you know that might be a wretched idea so i might just go down there and clean that up anyway everything's still working over here yep it looks perfectly fine honestly so what we'll likely do is we'll have water moving down there and then across to each of these that is the way that I'm probably going to set that one up. Obviously, no no um, um, filter points in here at all. Ooh, starvation. Mm, that is not good at all. What priority are these on? Uh, they're all sixes. I'm going to drop them to fives. Uh, same down here. Fives. Um, yeah, I actually want you to focus on other stuff, so all fives for now. Go and get yourself some noms. All of you, please. There we are. Well, that should have helped a little bit. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. We, we are on the verge right now, and that's unfortunate. Uh, those are all fives. This is a seven. It's slowly making food. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, generally speaking, stuff isn't so terribly bad right now. Okay. Looks like they're... Ooh, food beyond reach. How many people are saying that? Not too many, that's fine then. And it looks like our... Uh, there we go. Fantastic. They're all ready at about the same time. So there we go. We're going to get a load of, load of noms for you. All will be well. And then eventually we're going to have so many norms being produced, we're not going to have to worry about food at all. There we go. Okay, you just carry on getting the norms. As soon as I see that we've got a, we've got the food situation under control, I'll stop worrying about it so much. And uh, I'll start focusing on the building again. Well, we've still got some in there, which is good. Food beyond reach, who feels that? Uh, there will be food there, just as soon as some is made. Or some is half, so there we go. Go ahead and then go and eat. There we go. Perfect. We are hurting for power though at this point. The hydrogen generator is needed quite a lot. 
Uh, we've also got some meal wood down there. Hmm. Yeah, that hydrogen generator has actually needed an awful lot. How's stress though? Stress is actually not that bad. Got to be honest, I'm a little bit surprised by that. I'm surprised that we're managing stress as well as we are, given everything. Uh, we've got a little bit more food to be stored. There we go. A little bit more to be harvested as well. Okay, we're, we're operating on the on the verge of, you know, being too low on food. But once this farm is actually producing properly, then we should be okay. Right, okay. So, given this then, I would like to increase the priority over here. This should now be a priority six. Let's just get these parts done. Let's get all of that sorted out first. There we go. I'm going to try and manage the priorities. The refrigerator is full. Mm. <clears throat> I was a little bit surprised by that, I must confess. Uh, sure, we'll make it out of granite, we'll make it on, on a 7, we'll put another one over there. Uh, that way we've got decent enough storage for all of this. Uh, run that along, and up. There we go. And I'll keep a very close eye on those refrigerators. There we go. Let's get you all sorted. Now, unfortunately, when we run out of power, then, you know, obviously that's kind of bad. Uh, hmm. Could replace this battery, but really what I need is an extra generator. Uh, I think I will actually add in an extra manual generator. It's it's amazing that I haven't at this point, honestly. Uh, but there we are. It's probably more negligence than anything else, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Uh, we will deconstruct this battery, deconstruct that wire, we'll build another medium battery, and then we'll run with that. There we go. Yeah, things are generally actually going all right. How's the uh, air in the base? Base is fairly okay. Uh, in terms of organic, we've got enough algae for the time being, but we'll probably make it to the point where uh, we have got the setup for um, our uh, electrolyzers. So that shouldn't be a big, big worry for us. Let's get all of this built, please, and thank you. Ooh, that one. Overheated. Ah, that's a bit of a problem. There's not a lot I can do about that. Well, I could pump oxygen through um, cooling system. That's something I could research, but it's not something I'm going to research just yet. Uh, I'd rather just get the system working for now. But I'll maybe run it through an area where... Uh, for example, up here, maybe I could have some sort of cooler. I don't know. I could, I could easily make an area for a cooler, though. That should be a big issue for me. We have got a bit of a food shortage, though. Not great. Uh, let's go ahead, get the meal wood planted. Now, these ones should be producing fairly frequently for a little while. Uh, we want this one. How high is that? That's a seven, so this one should equally be a seven. There we go. Same threshold? Yeah, that's fine. Right, so for a little while, our duplicates are going to be uh, forced to work on the power generation. Yeah, you can all join in on that because you're all a bit better at it now. There we go. That'll do. We should uh, get these fixed up fairly quickly. Let's get that one sorted as well, please. There we are. We are starting to run low, so I would like a few more made, honestly. Let's get just a couple more made. And time to check on a new duplicate. Have we got anyone who's super amazing? Seven strength. That's, ooh, eight learning. Can't dig it. Uncultured. Won't do art. Mm. Amphibious. That's always nice. Yeah, actually, Nisbet, you shall be joining us, Nisbet. And you shall be Sleepy Joe. Welcome to the colony, Sleepy Joe. And print. Pomp. Enjoy. Now, we've increased our food consumption a fair old bit, but we've also managed to uh, increase our food production quite heavily. Um, and having someone else who will help out with power generation is always a good thing. Uh, we'll get rid of those. Do you... Uh, well, actually, it looks like, for the time being, you're just focused on delivering, digging, and sweeping. Uh, in fact, yeah, yeah, you can you can do digging as well. We'll let you build up your athletics for now. Let's get all those done. We should be fine. Uh, 
Okay, so how's things going over here? Going reasonably well, I must say. I am pleased. Okay, well, let's go ahead and build the hydrogen generator then. We'll pop that right about here. That'll give us enough room for a door if we really want to one. So, sure, let's uh, pop that down as a 7. And then get power down to it as well. So, all the way down like so. Bump. Now, for the gas pipes, we would want... Let's go ahead and find you on a 7 running from here as this would be our filtered gas that will come out and then um hmm. let's say in this room we'll just run it straight down and across and up that seems reasonable I know, I know, it's rough. Uh, we do want all of this now to be uh, done at fairly high priority, though. So move across and start digging upwards. We'll do it little by little as we uh, break through there. I am worried that I've been using priorities like this for a long time now. And that is starting to uh, mess with things, I should imagine. Got some power coming in, not nearly enough, however, but we'll get there. That's right, let's get everything going. There we are. Go ahead and build that up for me. Now, basically, we're going to want this room complete before we do more or less anything else. Um, we definitely need that getting down there because this is not going to sustain this for very long. But we've got a decent bit of water there. We've got a lot of other stuff around. In fact, we've got hydrogen over here, which we could just build into and set up a, uh, a gas pump just to send the hydrogen direct. Got a huge amount of hydrogen over there. Got a load of chlorine as well, which we're not particularly fond of, but decent amount of hydrogen. Uh, what's over here? Chlorine just buried in all of those stones. Yeah, we're gonna have to work on that. There we are, so that's all hooked up. We will need power to it though. So we can just run that straight across, down and down. However, well, actually, this should more or less always run. That being said, though, no. Let's uh, cancel that tile, the electrical wire. Cancel that, the electrical wire here. Cancel that. I'm going to set these up on their own power switches. Ah. Uh, that being said, let's, yeah, we're going to do this a different way. What I would like, for this to come across, there'll be a switch here that will run all of these, and a switch here that will run all of these. So we can have uh, multiple switches that control what is turned on at any one time. I think that's actually a reasonable way of setting this up. Let's bring that across just for redundancy. I don't think you need redundancy in uh, in this particular game, but I'm too too stuck in the habit of rim world. There we go. Everything seems okay. Things down there. I mean, they're not going to get there to get it. I guess. Uh, let me help that out then. Uh, let's pop this here, just so they can get that little bit of copper down there. Right, now we want to continue with the building around here. So, <clears throat> uh, sure, let's get all of that done on a seven now. Now they should be able to just dig over there and sort that bit out. Uh, we are going to need this dug out because the sand has basically collapsed and made a bit of a, an issue there. And you're just happily munching on stuff and producing coal, which I'm totally okay with, actually. Totally okay with. I could put a coal generator down here, which would facilitate, which would push CO2 up into this area, which might be okay, might not be though. Uh, I'm I'm uncertain. We'll hold off on it for now though. Let's get that going. We're doing reasonably well actually. I feel. There we are. Let's get this little last bit done. Again, all of the electrical wire sorted, all of the gas, gas permeable tiles rather. There we go. Excellent. 
We're just going to leave you down there. I might set something up so that I can just, like, make a um, container in there that I'll just fill with minerals. Maybe the certain type, the one that I have the most of, and then I'll just deconstruct it every now and then. Just so there's loads of minerals in there, and they, this little guy can just produce my, me uh, some coal indefinitely. I think that's a fantastic idea my, myself. Uh, someone's idle? What? Attack a comrade is idle. Uh, oh, right. Yeah. Sand. Bloody sand. Worst thing ever. Please get that out of there. Oh, my lord. Sand is the devil in this game. It is the devil. Oh, there you go. Now then, can we get across here and start working on all of this for me? See if they can actually reach it. I'm not sure they will be able to, though. We'll have to see. I uh, may need some more gas mineral tiles up there, perhaps. That is definitely a possibility. Can you hop over? We will see in just a moment. Yes, they can. Fantastic. So what I needed to see. We can go ahead and deconstruct everything, build things, and all that good stuff. In fact, at this point, you can go ahead and dig that down. Don't worry, we're going to have beautiful clean oxygen all pumped around this base in a moment. In fact, to that end, let's go ahead and pop in the gas vents. And clearly, we need oxygen around here. Um, let's pop a gas vent there. I will have a gas vent over here, gas vent there as well, um, over here it's not as necessary, but I'll pop a gas vent there too. Gas pipes, these can then move out, up, across and down, now this is not affording me anywhere where I'll be able to easily um, cross them over if I need to. Well, that should be good enough for now, I would say. And we want some more digging done. Let's get rid of this little bit. We are almost ready. Very, very nearly done. Right, so power switch we're going to want here as a 7, and a power switch up here as a 7. Oh, no, that's the wrong place. Cancel. Right there. We will then want this running across. Up. Up. And that connection there. I'm not sure if that is how this will work, but we'll see. Uh, ooh, wait. These are on separate lines now. Oh, dread. Didn't think of that. Basically, if I turn this one off, I turn that one off by proxy. <laughs> not what I was intending to do. So... With that in mind, we'll do this instead. Now, I might not need this level of control, but I don't see a reason not to incorporate it if I can. Okay, we've got eight duplicates, and soon I'm going to really need to get some more places for them to sleep. Because it's silly. But we'll get there in a little bit. This is my main focus for this episode, is just getting the uh, oxygen generation relying on water. Yeah, have you, have you done all the piping already? Oh, that's fantastic if you have. Yeah, you have. Well done. Well done. I am impressed. Okay, let's make sure that's all been done. Fairly high priority. Well. Now, why is this? No liquid intake, empty pipe. Uh, that's fine for now. Let's just get all of this sorted. There we go. Um, actually, cancel these because I'm going to need you to be able to access that stuff up there. In fact, I probably need to build you a ladder now because I hadn't thought about that. Go ahead then. You can use those ladders. Oh, I'll try it. Um, well, no, you seem to be okay. Uh, there we are. With that, let's hook all of this up. I'm not sure how this will work. Can I turn this on and then will that connect? No, it actually does need to be uh, connected through, it seems. So, fair enough. And across all of these. There we are. Actually, 
I'll just change this one just ever so slightly just to make sure that it does connect the way I want it to by doing this like that All right there we go so everything in here can now be deconstructed more or less am I gonna sweep it I probably will I'll give it a really really high priority sweep order like an eight or something we'll get this room completely cleaned up and then I won't have to come back in here for a long time all right, we're going to need some liquid piping now. And we'll use seven on that one. And we'll just run this down and across all three. There we go. How's things going over there? Still running okay? Yeah, it's running fine. Basically, once the, there aren't three blips of water in here, I know that I need to top this system up. All right, let's get this going really fast now, people. Have we got a super amazing duplicant? Uh, Madison, ooh, you are very good. Yes, Maha shall be joining us, and Maha shall be Bentham. There you go, Bentham. Welcome to the colony. Long may you not starve. Oh, actually, wrong game. Long may you not suffocate. There you go. Easy mistake, I feel. There we are. Is everything hooked up? Yes, everything is hooked up. I can turn this on, then turn it off. Let's get to work. Come on. I want to turn it off quickly. And now off. Because I didn't actually want them pumping hydrogen in you yet. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right. High priority. We need all of this sorted out. So deconstruct in here with a 7 on that one. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't really be deconstructing this because eventually I'm going to want um, gas permeable tiles up there anyway. Um, well, no, we'll go ahead for now. And sweep on an eight. Get this room clean of everything, please. Highest priority work order. Chop, chop. Nearly done. Also, get some more food. Uh, we're doing all re reasonably well for food, actually. Okay. How's stress going right now? Lolash is pretty stressed, so we're going to send Lolash down here to chill out. Uh, who's next? Uh, big zone. I think we can we can manage it with 20. I mean, right now we've got a lot more duplicates than we've got beds. We need three new duplicate beds, or bedrooms, I should say. And I am sorry about that, duplicates. But uh, at the very least, you've got oxygen in the room that you're working in currently. That's a that's a uh, an improvement. I feel a vast improvement. One might say. Have we not got enough storage for all of this? We we might not. You know. Ah, poop. Oh well. Then in that case, turn it on. I guess just get it swept as you, and when you can. For the most part, the hydrogen should be okay. Just moving around in there. Um. Is this going to work? Oh, why is that not working? What have I not set up correctly? Power's going to the right place. Is the gas piping going to the right place? Uh, oh, wrong, wrong piping. Should be. Oh, 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 oh. I've not told it what to filter. That's right. Hydrogen, please. Filter the hydrogen into the hydrogen generator. That should now start working, and we'll see that working. So oxygen is going out to the rest of the base. What on earth was that? Probably CO2. Now that's fine. And hydrogen into the hydrogen generator. Not a lot of hydrogen in there yet, but we'll get there. It'll happen slowly. So now we are pushing air into the rest of the base at this point. It'll, it'll evenly split between all of the uh, points. So we're going to get an even distribution of oxygen between these four outputs, which is not too bad. I could get some more oxygen down there, perhaps, but I don't mind there being CO2 along this level because that's where the uh, algae terrariums are. We could perhaps do with a little bit more... Uh, Power coming out of those, but the mo main thing is the oxygen, honestly. We're letting a little bit of, of that out. I would have liked a better airlock solution, but oh well. Uh, we're probably going to end up with a little bit of hydrogen in the base anyway, and ultimately, I want to set up a pump system somewhere in the around here. In fact, if we can get all the way up there and set up a pump, 
That would be glorious. That would be quite glorious. And it's something we should probably look at doing, but yeah, we're getting little bits of hydrogen because people are going in there to sweep. Uh, well, let's go ahead and cancel these sweep jobs now then. For the time being, because we've already actually let up quite a lot of hydrogen. That's really unfortunate. I would have liked that whole thing to have been cleaned up, but oh well. Uh, right, so with that in mind then, we are going to continue work on this area. In fact, you know what? Just get that whole area done. It's been waiting there for so long to get finished. But I'm fairly happy with where we are at this point. We are now producing oxygen from water. We're going to need to uh, address that in the next episode, of course, because we need to move all of this water down there. We could either do that with pumps, but as I've said, not, not my uh, ideal solution there. What I'm probably going to do is build all this up, build a wall across, and then simply dig up there so that this all drains down into the system. And in fact, this could become a much bigger system as a result of that. Um, in fact, so all we would need, we need to do is dig that up because ultimately I'll let uh, I'll probably dig a ladder down there and then we can uh, recover whatever we want to recover from back here. But that is going to be it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We've made a bit of progress and we've got a new functional system working. Unfortunately, we are a little bit low on power, and so I might this might necessitate building a coal generator somewhere around here. We'll have to see how that goes. But I hope you will be joining me for the next episode. And I'm looking forward to it. In fact, and as ever, remember to like if you liked. Some if you haven't. And until next time, do take care.